Exchanges. Um, all of our panelists today are knowledgeable. They are experienced in this field, so that's why they're here with us. So my name is Monty Metzger. <clears throat> I'm uh, in the digital space since uh, mid 90s. I've been founding a couple of companies, and in the uh, last couple of years, I've been running a venture fund, investing in blockchain companies globally. And we are now taking this technology out of an unregulated space into something which is regulated, fully compliant. And we are doing that in Liechtenstein. So what I'm founding now is uh, something called LCX, or Liechtenstein Crypto Assets Exchange. Cryptocurrency exchanges are playing one of the major roles in uh, bringing cryptocurrencies to wider circulation and finally can bring them to mass adoption. Do you agree with this statement and uh, just what do you think about this? So, Eddie, absolutely. I think at the moment their institutional investors are lined up to invest into that space. But currently there are not many places where they can do it in a fully compliant way. Um, and so that's why I think it's really an opportunity that exchanges enable to grow the market space overall. So I am true a believer that we are still at the early ages and the, and the beginning. If you look at financial assets to be tokenized, we're talking about several trillion dollars entering the market in the next couple of years. And that's the big opportunity to really take it out of the kind of the niche um, to become a, a global opportunity. But actually we chose um, to incorporate in, in Liechtenstein due to something called the Blockchain Act. So with the Blockchain Act, the government is actually opening up uh, a set of laws which are enabling the industry to thrive, which are like loose enough to uh, give a framework, but still not um, like making it too strict that it's completely blocked. And I think that the balance needs to be right. I've never seen any technology where government started to compete like where you should open up your company. Yeah. And um, so th this is also the, because of the fact that it's a really global market and nobody has tackled that before. So even if you're locally, you actually have to think global from day one. System. I mean, uh, we are talking about ecosystem trends here. And I think it's a very unique moment in time where the industry will evolve to something much bigger and broader. But I spend most of my time talking to the like, global leaders who run private equity funds, billions of dollars under management, or real estate funds or something. They, uh, if they look at it, it's, it, it, it they, they need different systems to actually that the overall ecosystem is thriving. And I think as we are looking at the industry today, um, the next 10 years will probably usher more trends than the previous 50 years in financial markets overall. And, and the old system has to change. Uh, rather than adapting it to the old rules. And I think if you look at a lot of innovation problems, you can't fix the future problems with like old tools. You, tools need to be adapted Absolutely. in a way. And we are in the process of doing that. 